Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karva and in this video, I will be answering your questions related to negative marking in GATE. And I'm also going to give you practical tips on how you can score maximum marks in the GATE exam. So let us start by looking at the first important tip that I have for all of you, which is the elimination technique. It is one of my favorite tips as I derive it from the fictional character of Sherlock Holmes created by Arthur Conan Doyle in the 19th century in the work Case Book of Sherlock Holmes where he says a famous line and I quote, when you eliminate all which is possible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. You can apply these words to the four options that you are going to get in the gate question paper. After you have eliminated all the wrong options, the one which remains shall be the correct one. Hence, whenever you are confused between the options, use the elimination technique to solve the question. Rather than being underconfident and taking a shot in the dark, the elimination technique will come handy as a smart guesswork and will make your answers more probable and also will help you get away from the negative marking. Moving on to point number two, which is a very important point and that is to take deep breaths and relax. Now you all will ask me, how is it possible to not panic in such an important yet tough exam like GATE? Tell me one thing friends, even if you panic, what is the guarantee that you will be able to clear the exam? So just remember, do not panic if you fail to attempt a few questions. Your sole focus should be on attempting the paper in front of you and not thinking about the questions that are going correct or incorrect. You will have ample time to think about all these things once you leave the exam hall. Do keep in mind that the examination is not depending a 100 out of 100 score from you. The gate cutoff generally hovers around 55%, which is 55 marks out of 100. Hence, even if some of your questions are marked incorrect and you realize that while attempting the paper, do not panic. You just need to clear the cutoff and a few incorrect questions won't make a huge difference. As you know, there will always be 10 to 15 questions in your GATE exam, which you would not have any clue about. But that is how the paper is set. No matter how much you've studied or how many attempts you've had, there will be 5-10 questions every time, which will always be there to surprise you. So don't fall into the trap of attempting all the questions. However, you must attempt it entirely only when you are confident you are sure since negative marking is involved. Moving on to point number three, and that is to avoid silly mistakes. Many times I've seen students lose out on five, 10 marks due to silly mistakes. And when you have negative marking, then silly mistakes will cost you extra marks as well. I have seen a variety of silly mistakes being made by students. In numeric questions, they sometimes note down the wrong digit while solving the question. On the other hand, some students mark the wrong answer in the computer even though they know the correct answer. But aapka dimaag kahi ho rata aur aap galat answer maak karke aage bada jata hai. Hence, you need to be extra cautious regarding the silly mistakes. Whenever you mark an answer, please recheck the question number. Answer you have chosen and the question you have marked before clicking on save and next option in the computer. Most of the silly mistakes happen when you try to quickly solve the questions out of the fear of running out of time. In such haste, Many times you do not read the questions correctly and miss out on important words such as accept, not correct. These words, if not paid attention to, can change the direction of your answer. For example, which among the following is not a play written by John Galsworthy? And you've been given four options. If you did not read the word not, you may end up picking the play you are most familiar with. Let's say justice. It will only be later that you realize that the other options were also plays written by John Galsworthy and the question inquired for which was not the play written by him. So it is very important to read the question carefully. Make sure you understand the question well. Read it twice and carefully read the options too. Another important thing is to always attempt the question in one go. Do not take an approach where you revisit a question and change your answer with every visit. Instead, take 30 seconds, patiently read the question and the option, mark it and then move ahead. Hence, to summarize the tip, double check the question while you are reading it. Read it twice. Double check the answer before entering it into the computer screen 
and be aware of any potential silly mistakes that you can make. In every paper, you will find three kinds of questions, easy, medium and difficult questions. So my fourth step revolves around these three types of questions. Because in my fourth step, I would want you to focus on solving easy and medium difficulty level questions instead of focusing on the difficult questions first. Most of the time, students think that they can clear the exam only by solving the difficult questions or the hard questions. But if you look at the pattern of the question paper, 80% of the questions fall in the category of easy or medium. And the 20%, the rest 20% are hard or difficult questions. Now we know that a candidate needs approximately 55 to 60% marks to clear a gate exam. So if you are able to handle easy and medium questions well, you will have a fair chance of qualifying gate while you also have the scope of getting 15 percent of the easy medium questions wrong. So whenever you take mock tests, don't judge your performance based on the difficult questions that you solve. Your focus should be on assessing the level of confidence and accuracy with which you can solve easy and medium questions. It is not even necessary to focus on difficult questions to clear gate. Before we move on to the last point, remember, no preparation is complete until it is tested the right way. If you want to be a top scorer in gate exam, then kickstart your preparation today with India's first unique and customized test series for gate aspirants available only at arpitakarva.com. We offer separate test series for gate English literature students and we have a video course also for you. Our test series consists of more than 3000 unit wise questions that come with detailed explanation. Our portal mirrors gate exam interface to give you real examination experience. Plus, after every test, you get a detailed performance report and your ranking in the All India Leaderboard, which will help you to spot your weak and your strong areas. The link of our website and our test series is given in the description box below. You can check out the test series details from our website and can also give a free demo test before you decide to enroll in the test series. But for all these informations, you can WhatsApp us on the number displayed on the screen, me and my team will be more than happy to assist you. Last but definitely not the least, I want you to stop preparing for GATE with a group of students who only aim at solving the paper quickly. Your focus should not be on your speed. Instead, your focus should be on solving the paper accurately. The reason is that different exams are set in different manners. If you take a look at GATE, you will see that it actually tests how accurately you remember things. It doesn't test your speed because you get a lot of time to solve 65 questions. You get more than 120 minutes, that is more than two minutes per question, approximately two and a half minutes per question. So even if you are taking longer to solve one question, you will still have ample time to finish the paper. So you must read the question multiple times before solving it. This will reduce the chances of making silly mistakes. Hence, you should Focus on solving the paper not with speed, but with accuracy. If you found this video helpful, then please like this video by giving it a big fan thumbs up and also share it with other fellow aspirants who are struggling with similar kind of questions. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I'll meet you very, very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.